high Capricorn is the power and light to come here to the reading. Capricorn is going to be your tree of life oracle reading. And we have your oracle cards, right? Uh, although, you know, the whole the whole reading is kind of oracle cards because I use these Kabbalah, right? Kabbalah. Uh, not the Kabbal. We are not the Kabbal, you guys. No, we're not. Although they are trying every day to uh, destabilize. But let's see, we have for you, Capricorn, because uh, we're trying to build you up here. I feel like we are, Capricorn. So let's see, we have, uh, and we have the hedgehog, and this is uh, like vulnerability, it is. The rabbit is here, Capricorn. This is somebody who's like usually waiting to take a leap of faith. It can be about somebody, uh, let's see, the other rabbit, there's a rabbit, a couple of rabbits in these decks, different decks, but... Uh, this is about somebody who's take, waiting to take a leap of faith. The house is here. This is a union. Some, excuse me. That's about a union. Right, it is. And uh, let's see what they say about, <coughs> about the house. Just uh, see if it, it is stability, stagnation, and family. Wow. Maybe somebody's in a, a stagnant family situation. Could be. It kind of looks like a rigid house over there it doesn't look like a house you know but let's look at the rabbit as well and see what else it is besides <coughs> taking a leap of faith waiting <coughs> making leaps and adventure mm -hmm. somebody might have been waiting Sagittarius to take I mean Capricorn to take a leap of faith on you right we also have the hedgehog, and uh, mm -hmm. this is vulnerability, hiding the heart and tenderness. Wow. So somebody's hiding their heart here, and this is why I feel like they were waiting, possibly, right? Maybe you've been waiting for an adventure, uh, Capricorn. The house is here, uh, you know, this can be about stability or a union, but I feel like somebody was in a stagnant union. Uh, maybe you felt stagnant with this person. We have the five of uh, this is the five of wands, and this is typically about uh, it's typically about an argument in that deck. It can be kind of fighting, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is about uh, oh, this is sorry, guys, this is wrong. Where is that? And um, let's see what we have. No, I don't know where I put it. So this is about an argument, though it is. Yeah, it is in this deck. Uh, maybe you're arguing with somebody. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's about a blockade. And, yeah, this is considered the five of wands here. Sometimes it can be a blockade. Some type of argument here uh, with somebody. It doesn't have to be, like, a full-on, like, uh, argument, like, to their face. And, like, a, you know, like a completely, like... It just could be maybe an argument. Sometimes maybe this conflict is in your head a little bit. Like you just feel kind of maybe angry with somebody. It just depends, right? So let's see. We're going to find out in this reading. I feel like we are. And uh, let's see what we have for you guys, uh, Capricorn. We also have uh, the yin card. So this is you receiving, like being open to uh, receive. I feel like you're open to somebody here. You could have been waiting for them. Some type of uh, tenderness, this hedgehog, you have a tender heart for this person, right? Yeah, or a soft place in your heart for them. Uh, but the five of wands is showing some type of, uh, maybe there was a blockade. Maybe they were in another union even. But the stagnation card, there's something like blocking or like kind of stagnating something. We have all that glitters in the fates. Yeah, I took all these cards, right, because they just kind of came out at once. So all that glitters... Uh, Capricorn. Somebody could have been in a situation that they thought was going to be really great. That's uh, for me. That's what all that glitters is about. And uh, and then we have the fates, and the fates is you know uh, it's somebody who's faded for you, right? I don't know why they have that chick like that. She's so strange in that picture. But all that glitters, Capricorn. Maybe somebody had a lot of money, or if they were basing a, a union on something else, or they just thought it was going to be great. So let's see. Let's get into this reading without further ado. And uh, let's see we have Capricorn for you guys. And the heart of the matter for you is the witness. We have the society. Yeah, so we have the society in the house here. Somebody might be married. It could be. 
and or just maybe in a union, right? The warrior card showing up, and we have the eater, the myth, the benefactor, and the treasury. Okay. And uh, Capricorn, I just feel like you like you. There's somebody here that you like. You want them to pass the test, or you're hoping to pass the test with them. I don't know what this test is exactly, but I feel like you are seeking something with somebody here who is very tender to you or very important. Like, like I said, um, you know, there's a place in your heart for them, uh, definitely. Uh, all that glitter is, is, I'm not sure why that's showing up yet, but maybe it's possible that they are in some type of a situation with the society card and the house. Like, they're married, maybe. it's It could be. Uh, just because, right? But let's find out, right? And right now we have the witness and the society card. The witness Capricorn is somebody who kind of like, you know, witnesses the truth. It's usually accepting the truth. Sometimes it's somebody who doesn't want to. Like when you don't want to go witness at a murder, like a high-profile murder case, you're like, well, oh no, right? No, I don't think so. But uh, let's see. Your life might never be the same again, right? But this is about somebody, this is you, uh, the witness and the society card. Let's see what, what it has to say. This is incomplete. The heart. Yeah, you love somebody here. There's no doubt about it that you're in love with somebody. That uh, A major tender uh, feeling in your heart. And uh, the witness, you could be, ex maybe you're accepting that somebody's married here. And that's okay because you really love them. It's possible you're hoping, well, this is the warrior is not really a hope, but sometimes it can be like a goal, like what you want. I feel like you want them to fight for this love. Let's see. This is definitely a love reading. Let's see what else we have for Capricorn, please. And we have the veil. So there was some type of lies in the past because the myth is over here. And agitation. All right. That's what I used to always say about my brother. He's agitating me. <laughs> he started it. He's an agitator. <laughs> he was, too. <laughs> he still is, okay? At uh, the ripe old age, yeah. So let's see. We have uh, Capricorn and the witness. Mm -hmm. It's possible you don't want to accept here. Uh, you don't want to accept the fact that you love somebody and, you know, maybe they've been hiding something from you. It's also possible that you are, it, it is possible here that you're willing to accept that somebody's in another union. It's possible. Let's get another card. Let's see what we have. And we have the flag. Mm -hmm. This is about loyalty towards somebody. So this can go either way, but this has to do with like somebody is kind of like has been hiding something or it doesn't even have to be that so much. It could have been that somebody was in a union and that you, uh, I feel like you wanted their loyalty and you, you couldn't have it. But at the same time, you're either accepting it now or you still have high hopes for them to break out of this. So let's see. Let's, let's go on here. Mm-hmm. It's possible, too, that you are going to see that somebody lifts the veil here to tell you that they love you. It could be. So let's see what we have. The warrior is showing up with the sorrow card. This is your, your, okay. I mean, if this is about somebody else, I feel like it is. You could be thinking if this person fights for your love, that they're going to bring sorrow to somebody else. Because sorrow is not something you want. Unless you want them to, you know, fight for your love and maybe you don't care if they maybe leave somebody else, something like that. Let's get another card. Sometimes this is what you want. And the marker. It's your highest expectations. I feel like you want somebody to fight for your love and you want them to... <clears throat> this is like your goal. You want them to like label. You want them to give you a title in a relationship. You're like, oh, I, I, I want to be your girlfriend. Or I want to be your wife. Or something like that. Let's see here. The myth card is showing up. This is the energies that are leaving you. And the presence card. Maybe you thought somebody was missing you. But you like, or you were really missing them. And 
Maybe you thought they were just a big myth to you because there's mistrust in this reading. Yeah, there's already mistrust. It's like, because you don't really know what to expect from somebody here. Somebody that you are vulnerable to, the hedgehog. Yeah, you're like, you're, you know, I mean, you could be a sucker to this person. I don't, you know, I don't mean like all the way. I just mean, that maybe that's a little extreme sucker. But, I mean, that's, you're like, you're sweet on this person. So you're like, you're vulnerable to them. Yeah, and that's how we all are, we're in love, right? Yeah, I, I hope so, right? If you're not vulnerable at all, then they're not worth uh, the stock they're made of to you, all right? <laughs> Let's see, and we have the dancer. I feel like you missed them. I feel like you missed them and you wanted to celebrate with them and maybe you found out it's off it's fine it's uh sorry you guys it's possible that you figured out that uh I just feel like you were wondering if they were missing you if that was just a myth I wonder if they're if they're truly missing me or is this just some BS yeah and the benefactor is showing uh, let's look at the eater okay so the eater is showing up it's coming into play, all right? And this eater is usually somebody who, it can be an overindulgence. It doesn't always have to be, but it's definitely somebody who, it can be somebody who is kind of thirsting for somebody, right? Let's see what else we have, the applause card. This eater could be the person you're dealing with. Maybe they had, a, you know, you and somebody else, like maybe they were married to somebody or in a union. It's possible, but the eater is somebody who is like, takes too much. The applause card is an ending. So let's look at the eater card and see what else they have to say besides, you know, I don't know, organic chicken and, you know, Caesar salad. Let's see what it says here. Or free-range chicken. Ooh, excuse me, you guys. And the eater is, if you have plenty, consider how you can share this with others. This is coming into play. This person is going to share with you, and there's going to be an ending. They're going to have their own ending, I believe. Wow, this could be somebody who's extravagant and uh, excess, like someone who takes too much, right? A greedy person, someone who is taking too much, a project that will consume too much money or resources, appetites and desires. It doesn't always have to be somebody who is taking too much. It doesn't always have to be. <clears throat> it's also possible Capricorn that you're looking at the situation with this all that glitters you could either they are in a situation that they thought was going to be so great maybe there's a lot of money because the treasury card is showing up here maybe they had a lot of money in this situation because there's somebody else here clearly and there's a highly high uh, likeliness here that this person is in another union because we have the flag, I mean not the flag, we have uh, the society card and we also have, there's another card here that speaks to that as well. Okay, can't really find that card. Okay, But you know, this energy here is... It can just be somebody who's kind of really hungering, appetites and desires, an over-enthusiastic approach, carelessness and surplus. Yeah, carelessness, like somebody kind of sloppy kind of with their, with their behaviors. Let's get another card. But this is coming into play. The applause card is an ending. Let's get another card here. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we have. Sorry, you guys, about to break here. Let's get another card. Why is that a pause card there for Capricorn? And the Passover card. This is some type of an ending and a sacrifice here. And a, but, you know, it's possible you waited for this person a long time, too. There's some type of an ending in this reading. Yeah. <clears throat> and in the other reading, we're going to use the tarot, and we're going to use their, we're going to do their whole spread. Yeah, from, the, like, the regular Celtic spread. Mm-hmm. So, we're going to like, we're really going to find out here, but it looks like there's an ending here. And let's look at the benefactor. That's coming soon. 
<coughs> the victor. Yeah, you're going to win. You're going to win a new beginning with this person, Capricorn. Yeah. And the benefactor. This person, this is coming soon. This person is going to give to you. They're going to give. And I don't feel like they gave before. Yeah. This is receptivity. This is you being open to this love and being open to, I feel like, what they have to say and, you know. Let's get one more card on what's coming soon. And the concern card. Okay, so here you are now concerned <coughs> if you're going to win with them, if they're going to give to you, if they're going to make an effort. Yeah, you are. I feel like, you know, this person is like... It's possible, you know... I just feel like I feel like you're waiting. I feel like you're waiting for somebody and they're coming to you, but you're not trusting them. And I do feel like there's some tender love here. This is your love for them, but <clears throat> I do feel like this person has feelings here, but I do feel like they like they lied or something with this veil card here. And this is why you are concerned if you're going to win or if they're going to give to this. And there was some sorrow here too. It's possible here that you are, yeah, I mean, I feel like I said this, but over here, maybe you are just kind of, you know, uh, thinking that this person, uh, if they fight for your love, they're going to bring somebody else some sorrow. I feel like there could be two other people besides you. The treasury and the wanderer is how other people are affecting you, Capricorn. So, you know, this the treasury is somebody who usually adds to the bank, like they... They, they make deposits, kind of, like this person is giving to you. You are concerned if they're giving to you here. And uh, I feel like, you know, they are going to give to you. I feel like they are. But this person has a wanderer, so they could, a wanderer, somebody can be in between in two relationships. It can. Let's see what else we have. Or coming from another one, the cauldron, somebody from your past. This is how they are affecting you. You could be wondering here if they are giving to the situation temporarily. I could be. The agitation card with Pandora's box, Capricorn. <clears throat> and this is how you are affecting them. But, you know, these can be switched here. These two, uh, these two uh, kind of energies here, <clears throat> I beg your pardon, guys, or placements can definitely be switched. So this is somebody from the past with the cauldron and then, and then the Pandora's box. And this is how you are affecting them. You are, at, like, I feel like you're agitating them because they miss you. The presence card is right here. <clears throat> and this here, you figured out here. Yeah, see how the reading goes on. You, you know, you put the puzzle pieces together. But you figured out that they missed you. <clears throat> With this myth, the presence, and the dancer. Like you're no longer thinking this is a myth. They did miss you. We already know you missed them, Capricorn. We know, we know all about you, right? We are tra tracing, tracking, and <clears throat> uh, doing all these really invasive, horrible things to uh, overreach into your life. That's, yeah. No, we're not, Capricorn. No, no, we're not, definitely. But, <laughs> sorry, Capricorn. But this person here, you know, you figured out that they missed you. You did. This is, this is wow, this is kind of cool. But you're, you're agitating them to open the box. Like, they missed you. You figured it out, and they are, like, you knew for some reason, maybe because you have a date with them. It just looks like you're going you're gonna to visit with them in this reading, something like that. You're not with this person. The test card is going to be your hopes and fears with the surgeon. You could be hoping, really, that they're going to cut somebody out, Capricorn. You always get this, all right? Yeah, you do. <coughs> Excuse me, all right? <laughs> but I feel like you're hoping they're going to cut somebody out. They're in another union. Because the society is here. Uh, they just are. I'm almost positive they are. Mm -hmm. And over here, you're hoping they're going to pass the test and cut somebody out. Because you know they missed you, but you don't know if they're going to give to you. That's what this is. We're going to end this reading, you guys. And we're going to go to the extended. And we're going to see how they... We're going to see their whole spread. We're going to start with their current energy. 
uh, you know, the recent past, what's on their mind, what they want, uh, every, who's in their environment, all this kind of stuff, and of course their outcome and uh, their desire, right? They're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much, Capricorn, for watching.